Hello, hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to Mechanical Mastery. So, in between episodes, I did as I said I would do, and I made a load of these boys, and kind of outfitted all of this, and I let it run for a little bit, so we've got like a stack and a bit of everyone now. Um, some more than others. Um, this one's actually the slowest. Oh yeah, we always know this is the slowest, because of this bottleneck. And I, I don't know how I speed this up other than just maybe chucking in more speed upgrades and then a, a higher volume of this, but for now, that is what it is. This is struggling as well. Oh, interesting. Interesting. This is also not keeping up. The only one that didn't require any upgrades is this side. This side keeps up so well that it's like, I just leave it. It doesn't need the power. Um, but because of all that power drain, I also then came over here and I slapped one of these in here just to see, which actually does heavily improve it by another 80 RF, basically. Um, but I have slapped in auxiliary reaction chambers in all of these now. Um, so that's good. And I swapped this around and updated all of the um, pipes to now the advanced version. Um, and we seem to be keeping up with power reasonably so. Um, yeah, everything's been updated. Now what we need to do is we basically need to pulverize the output, which is why I've done this, of each of these. Um, and then collect what comes out and deal with that in various ways. Um, now, there's two options that we can do. And I think the better option is to use individual drawers. Um, because each, uh, each thing has two outputs. So if we had the pulverizer here, for example... Oh, what's happened here? Oh no, that's right, yeah. Um, for example, pulverizing blitz motes is two outputs. So if we do something like this, then we have access... Ugh, no! Um, 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 no. Damn. Now that's stuck forever, because I can't put them back in. Well, that will live there. But basically, we do it like that, and I think that's the better way to do it. But to do that, we may as well place this back here... As long as we have this in item mode, yeah, we do. We can place you down, let you in, and then do that. Okay. Then we can take the three out of you. Um, or we could just lock these before anything goes in them. Yeah, that's also a, a valid shout. Um, but let's make a pulverizer and test what we're doing then. Always good to have a little test, so we're going to need a ooh, 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 ooh. handful of you, not that much. That much will do. We're going to need some of you, we're going to need some of you, um, because we want to make a pulverizer. Uh, right, yes. So we're going to need some copper gears, we're going to need some tin gears, we're going to need some iron, we're going to need some cobble, which we've got on us. Should be able to make it all, actually, I think. Uh, oh, we're going to need a little bit of gold as well. Uh, one of you. And then we should just be able to do this. Now, going down here, we should be able to pretty simply break you, place you, uh, then configure you for that, and that, and that but we will have you auto input for now and then we can put these ones in here and then we get blizz powder which is cool and we get uh, with a small chance but it's still a chance snowballs and those are our two outputs from there and basically we'll do the same thing going across so give me one second to make a load of pulverizers and then we'll be right back okay so pulverizers made we can now come over here and basically do a little rinse and repeat 
a little bit of this action, a little bit of this and this, um, but we don't want it to output yet. A little bit of this action, a little bit of this and this, don't want it to output yet. And then a little bit of this with this and this. So now this one makes these two byproducts, which is fine. Uh, let's try and stay organized. So if I do that straight away and then we can break you and then do that. And we're going to try and do the powder, then the other output basically in that kind of order. So the powder, then the additional. Uh, so do this and then the powder. There we go. And then the additional. And then one more time. You haven't made your additional yet. What do you make as an additional? Uh, slag. There we go. And now we can uh, make sure we've got those on our hotbar because we're going to want to do that and then that. And then that, and then that. So now we're processing all of these pieces into their um, individual components, basically. Um, we should probably stack reduce all of this as well. So, how many do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight uh, reduced things. I think that's probably the better move because otherwise the whole point of stack reducing it prior becomes useless. Uh, so let's just do that real quick and then we can chuck you guys away and you guys away and let's quickly make these to be only a stack in each so that we're not going to end up overstoring. Um, and then we probably want some void upgrades for uh, these extra byproducts. Why aren't you outputting everything? Oh, auto out. There we go. That is why. Auto in, auto out. Uh, auto in, auto out. And then auto in, auto out. And that should now clear out. Yes, it does. Um, but we want uh, void upgrades. I think is the best option. We only need four of you. Uh, let's make eight. But we're not using all eight. Oh, come on, let me down. Because we only really want to void you, because we don't really care about more than a stack of snowballs, and you, but I'm hoping we will use, arguably actually, let's take that out of there and that out of there, because um, we can now get rid of these off our hotbar. To make this, we need sulfur and nitre. Um, sulfur, nitre. Um, but we need a lot of it, and this is not producing a lot of it. Because that's the next step, really. It's to automate gunpowder. And I'm not sure what the best way of doing this is. Uh, we could grow it. If we could craft this. Which I don't think's out of this world. But I don't know how fast we'd end up growing it. Um... The two crafting recipes are either sulfur and nitrate dust plus charcoal or charcoal and these two. Um, just trying to think if there's a better way. 25% chance on washing crushed raw zinc is not the worst. Um, that's probably one of the major ways, isn't it? 
uh, let's see, enricher, no, no, and no. Yeah, so it's it's basically do this. So let's have a look at how we get, uh, we want probably sulfur and sulfur. Uh, so how can we get this? Sulfur ore. Sulfur ore. Uh, crystallizer. Yeah, running this through the pulverizer will get us that. Sulfur ore, obviously. Uh, and running coal and lapis through as well will also get it to us. Um, if we come back to here real quick. Mechanism sulfur dust. Can be a machine output from the dye mixer? Okay. Chemical injector, but with gunpowder. Or... Water, oxygen, and charcoal make sulfur dust. That's maybe not the worst way to do it in a pressurized reactor chamber. Then we need to find a good way to get nitre. Which again, it does just mostly want us to do the ore. Uh, yeah. Um, if we go back onto here, though, it allows us to use dust, right? Is there a another type of dust other than that? No. And the only way to get it is to get this. So basically, it has to be this method. One of these methods. Um... Right. And the best way to do that, that's just one to one. That's not a little dupe, is it? No. Oh, this is aggravating. We could pulverize sand at a loss. Because um, basically, two, four sand is a sandstone. That becomes two, but with a chance of nitre. Or we do this. Again, though, like. Yes, I understand it's boostable. Let's get some... Oh, you. And let's come down here. And put you in here. I don't know what the odds are when it comes to actually boosting, though. Also, the problem we're going to encounter soon is... Once this one's full... So... I guess, I don't know, we'll see. Um, we'll put you guys in there for now. Um, sure, you can also just have this one, I don't care. Um, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Possibly what we want is we just don't want the downgrade in these two. And we want to let these two run, because these are the easiest ones to manufacture anyway. Um, and we just allow it to run and hope that it produces a lot of sulfur and nitre, but I think that's unlikely. I think the better option is to make sulfur dust through this pressurized uh, reaction chamber. Because um, then all we need to do is make oxygen which we can make in a electrolytic separator with water, which will make oxygen and hydrogen. And then we need to do just water, right? I thought the other one was. Uh, water, yeah. So that's actually probably the better way for us to make um, the sulfur. So let's... Because then it's nitre we need. Okay, right. Let's put you in here. Let's get these augments at least given out. Um, so you will grind up that, and the hope is you will make lots of nitre. How much does that recipe make? That makes six, that makes four. Four. 
I think this is the better recipe to use, only because it uses half the amount of nitre, but we get still two-thirds the amount. Yeah, and we can use it in either th the form, yeah. So I think this is the recipe we'll do. Um, it's very loud, isn't it? Very loud indeed. I don't. It's the it's the um, sawmills, isn't it? Uh, I think I can create a thing, set anchor radius here, and then I can say like sawmill. Oh, oh, um, pulverizer. Oh. Um, what's the other thing, maybe, that's making noise? Furnace? No, it wasn't furnace. Um, could it be the encapsulator? I don't know. I don't know what's making the sound. I think I can go on to here and recent. Just mute all of these things. I don't know. That didn't seem to do anything. Um, that's fine. We'll, uh, we'll leave that. That's much better than what it was. Um, it was quite loud beforehand. Oh, could it be the shafts? Do you reckon they make noise? Uh, cogs. Uh, no. That does get rid of one thing. Um, I don't know. Sounds baffle me. Um, but we basically want to make one of these, and then we also want to make uh, to make oxygen. We want an electrolytic separator. So we want to make both of these machines basically, uh, and that'll give us infinite sulfur dust. Um, that doesn't look too hard. Uh, that doesn't look too hard at all, actually. What was this? Osmium dust. I think we have a lot of that. Uh, food, 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 food. Let's see what we can get up to. So, we need gold and osmium dust, which I think we have here. We need a bit of iron dust, which I know we can get by just chucking you in here for a second, and then having you... Do your thing. There we go. And I think that's now enough to do this. And then we are missing more infused alloy, which is fine, because all we need for that is iron. Um, if we come if we go down here, we can come over to the redstone machine and dump the iron in and then speed it up real quick. and get a load of these. How's our power looking when we speed things up? Oh, it's still pretty good to be fair. We generate a lot of energy just from this back row. Um, and I know we're gonna start to do a lot more energy stuff later on, so Ooh, can't be too mad at what we're doing right now. Um, so that's now missing just redstone and iron. Iron and redstone. We should now be able to make the electrolytic separator which will make our water and everything. We will need to make another Evertide amulet as well, um, but we can come to that in a second. Let's put some things away, because we don't really have the inventory. Um, and then we need to make this, which needs steel, fine. Needs two of these, which needs, uh... oh my god, no. Uh, we need two of you. Oh, and you don't stack. Brilliant. Uh, what else do we need? One of these, which is more steel. Which I think we can now steal from over here, in fact. 
Beautiful. Look at that. Load of steel. Um, one of you, which is fine. Then what are we missing? Just a enrichment chamber. Which I think we have a spare one in here, so that's good. Uh, and then just two basic circuits, which we have in here as well. Look at us being prepared. Uh, and then all we need to do is make a uh, ever tied amulet, which needs six buckets of water. Uh, that'll do. Uh, they're not going to stack either. I have a bit of a problem where, do you know what? My problem is pretty solved by just doing this, uh, and this, and this, and this, and this. There we go. I just... it's too much stuff. Uh, and some of it's very renewable. One of the issues we have is I couldn't put that um, quartz back, because we are full on quartz. And that was aggravating me. So now I should be able to just pretty much come down here and do... And then make one of you boys. Lovely. That give the bucket back to us? It does. That's lovely. I do forget that it does that. Um, and then I think technically, I don't know where I want to do this. Realistically, it's just coming along here, isn't it? We might end up just moving these guys. Um, but for now, let's just slowly move you. <laughs> um because the knight is there, so we probably want to do... Oh yeah, um, I was like, what? I've got three machines here. So the pressurized reaction chamber is what is made here. So we want the electrolytic separator first, and I don't know how this sits. Um, we're going to need water for both machines. So maybe if we do this and we do empty, then we can do this here. And then we need our other types of cables, I think. But basically we want to say um, on the liquids, we want to input from this side and then Uh, gases, there you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't know which, which gas is which yet. So let's um, gas side output for a second. Let's clear that and let's then get some power to these. Uh, let's do it underground. I think it's probably the nicer looking. Um, can I, can I get a little little square on my screen, I can, lovely. Oh, not what I wanted. I want you to go here, and uh, here, and here. Lovely. And then we can do a little bit of a... that. Uh, and we will need another flux point, uh, which needs these, and provides energy to adjacent blocks here, and then just two redstone blocks. Let's just make two of them. Uh, we should be able to do that nice and easy. Lovely. Uh, so we want to come back over to here. And for now, do that. Uh, something's getting very laggy. Um, power. So I'll power these two machines up. This one should already be importing, no? Does this need to be like set to output? What we could do, no harm in doing it like this, is if we get our fluid pipes, which we've actually never used, I don't think. Um, we can just, ooh. <laughs> we can do one of these jobbies. Uh, and then, for now, I actually don't want you doing anything, uh, wrench you. And I want to say, uh, instead then, we're going to go fluids, clear, input on the top. 
you will be to do configure energies, configure fluids, pull out, uh, and then you will be generating oxygen in this side, hydrogen in this side, so dumping excess hydrogen. Oxygen will then need to come using a mechanical pipe from the front of this machine. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, gases. So output two cyan from the front. Um, what? Gases. Output two cyan from the front. Should you not? They're gas pipes? Gases? Wait a second. Because you're now getting water. One second then. Uh, mech. Are there gas pipes in this that I've missed? I thought there were only three types. So that's the universal cables, mechanical, thermodynamic, ultimate logistics, thermo, fluids, items, blocks, fluids, gases, here, pressurized tubes. Oh, I don't think we've made any pressurized tubes. My bad. Uh, I did completely miss that. Uh, let's just grab some of you. Um, how do we make the tier two? pressurized tubes only by doing that okay that's fine well let's then just do we'll do that and then we'll just straight away convert them because why not let's be a, a good boy um, so then we should be able to say that which is then pumping oxygen in here and then all this needs is uh, either blocks of charcoal or just regular charcoal. Okay, cool. So, can it take regular coal, did that say? Uh, wait. Any coals. Okay. So, actually, what we could do is we could just put a pulverizer here and then have this output out the front. I don't know if it does output out the front. Let's test that before we go any further, real quick by grabbing one of you and some of you. Not that much. Uh, yeah, that's fine, we've got one stack on us. So we should be able to put you in here. And then let's see if you will output out the front. Uh, so then items, items, yep, clear that. We want to output out the front. Oh, you do. Okay. Cool. And that is actually kind of in line with our NITA. Um, so all you need, realistically, is this to move as well. We then take some power, which we'll take from under here. Oh, that's a... Oh, this is going to start to get very confusing. Power... From there uh, and then we just need one more pulverizer I guess um, we could do a mechanism like crusher uh, crusher two buckets of lava a steel casing yeah go on let's let's give this a go um, missing a little bit of glass shouldn't be hard to solve. We've got that. We need two buckets of lava, which we can get from over here, where we've got our obsidian just constantly pumping out, which is great. Uh, and then I think it just wanted two of you, right? If I'm not mistaken. Perfect. Um, although now saying that, they don't automatically pull in, which is a little bit annoying. But that's fine. We'll work that out. All we'll need is initially, we'll need one coal. So then we should be able to say, just to keep this a whole mechanism system, really. Um, plus, I don't play with mechanism as much as you probably think I do. Uh, so, 
basic logistical transport. I want to then disconnect you. Uh, items, 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 items. Did I miss items? Oh. Items. Then I want you here. And I want you to disconnect. And then I want you to take coal and shit. Not you, but pull from you. And then we want to say you will accept items from the back input. Why aren't you pulling out items? Basic logistical transport, right? Items, yeah. You should be then accepting them in. No? Can you crash this? Oh, you can't. Uses. What mechanism machine? Energized smelter. Or an enrichment chamber. What the hell's a crusher for, then? Let's make an enrichment chamber, then. Sure. Put you away for now. We need an uh, enrichment chamber instead. Which needs almost the same stuff. But we can do that again. No problem. One, two, three, four. Which will make us our chassis. And then we need two of you. Which will make us our enrichment chamber. Sure thing. And then we go one more time to do this. Come over here. Put you down. Uh, configuration on the back you will input there we go and then output on the side auto eject so then you should oh and then items uh, input there we go and now that's a whole um, that is basically unlimited sulfur because the only thing we're using is a little bit of coal, um, but it's two to one, so that's not too bad. Um, and then all we need to do is hook that up to the nitre, because then we can do basically... As, oh, oh, we didn't lock you guys. Oh, I need to come back and lock you guys. Oh, I need to lock you all. One second. Uh, but, I mean, we've got sulfur here as well, right? Not that much, actually. Um, let's just for a second do that. Clear our inventory slightly. Uh, let's grab a key and go and lock all of this so that it doesn't faff about with us when we try and take anything out. Lovely. And then we can take you and we've got some nitre on us. So that's fine. Uh, then we just need some coal. And I think it's as simple as then just doing this this and this. Well, does this recipe need to be charcoal? In which case that is a little annoying, but overall could be worse. Time in the bottle. Charcoal, let's try it one more time. Sulfur. Aha! Well, has to be charcoal, which is a little bit annoying. It'd be one extra process, but we now have um, kind of just about got to the point where we can automate gunpowder. God damn, is this this is a, a mind confusing um, one. All of this, basically, to get these four resources and gunpowder. All of this. Whew, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> we can check you guys back down for now. Um, yeah, okay. Well, we can probably move this closer if need be and adjust things a little bit, but it is getting there. We're, we've got a better understanding now. This we're still doing fine on. Um, and yeah, that is probably it for this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh wow, you've actually made it this far. Okay, um, three things. Um, don't forget to maybe watch another video. I don't know which side I'm on. 
these ones, this or this, there's a box with a video. Um, consider subscribing and maybe like the video. Leave a comment, I'll, I'll say hello. Anything. Go. Go wild. <laughs>